guys, it's Jeremiah with Wild Style Survival. I'm here today to show you something that's called the Tick Tube. Uh, for those of you that haven't heard of the Tick Tube, this is a way of controlling ticks and other pests like that that are around your, uh, your homestead or any camp area that you might like to frequent. So what you're going to need for this is some permethrin, some used toilet paper rolls that are uh, empty, and some dryer lint, which I have spread out over here. And I'm going to go over here to it and show you how to make the tick tube. Okay, guys. So you see I have my dryer lint laid out right here. I've got a couple of uh, toilet paper rolls. I have several more over here. Uh, I also have my bottle of permethrin here. Now, uh, you can go buy this pre-mixed at 0.5% from Walmart. Uh, what I like to do when I run out in the bottle is go and buy a bottle of permethrin from my local co-op, and you can mix this. This is actually a, a highly concentrated, so I can get several more bottles out of that, and I just uh, use the old bottle to refill it. So all that I'm going to do with my dryer lint so I'm just going to take and spray this stuff down until I start to see the color change. You want to do this away from your, your pets and everything, of course. You can wear gloves. Probably recommended. I'm going to go wash my hands immediately after doing this. I'm going to soak this stuff down real nice on the front and back. And once I have it soaked down on the front, I'm going to take this stuff, I'm going to, I'm going to grab a stick here, and I'm going to, uh, to flip this stuff over. I'm going to spray the other side down, and I'll come back and show you what to do with it once it's completely dry. Okay, guys, so I've allowed this stuff to dry for a while. I mean, it's uh, it's bone dry now. It doesn't take very long, a few hours, uh, if you got it out in the sun and wind. I'm going to take my toilet paper tube. I'm going to take me a nice little ball of this stuff. I'm going to stuff it down in here. Not all the way to the ends. I'm not going to pack it full. I'm going to leave room on each end here and, and just stuff into the center here. That way the, uh, the mice and rats will come in here. And that's the purpose of this stuff, guys. The mice and rats are going to take this stuff and they're going to go and they're going to make their beds with it and make their nests with it. And that is where the ticks are in their first stages of life. And that's where they get most of the tick-borne diseases that we can catch. So uh, by doing this, you're going to break up the life cycle of the tick and especially eliminate the ones that are going to be carrying those diseases or the ones that are most likely to carry those diseases. So uh, I've got probably about 15 more of these tubes. I'm going to fill these up. What you're going to do when you get the stuff in them is just go and take them and spread them around your shed uh, in brushy areas, stuff where there's uh, uh, places where there's a lot of down stuff, building little brush piles. Rats and mice love those things. Uh, same thing around your campsite. Look for brush piles, brushy areas, uh, rocks, any little nooks and crannies. Rats love to get in those. So you're going to place these around the area uh, before the season. Rats are going to come out and uh, build their nests out of these, take them back, and you're going to break up the tick life cycle. And that's the tick tube. If you like learning skills like this and you want to see more of it, go ahead and click like on our video, subscribe to our channel, share the videos. There's plenty more coming out. And uh, as always, guys, we thank you for watching.